the 31st of December 2019 and I thought I would pick up the camera to say hello and to say 2020 I'm coming for you I have a lot of manifestations praying up for the new year and I really have I have so many things that I know are coming but also there is so much curiosity and this, like there, this whole year is so much of an unknown for me as well because um, a few things are definite. So I'm moving to London in June and I'm traveling with my family for about a month. But, and then I know that I'll be going back to the Gold Coast in January and staying till about at least April, maybe beginning of May. But in terms of everything else, it's literally, I have no idea what to expect. I do have, some goals for the new year. I really want to release um, my poetry book and potentially finish my novel. I really want to work more on my YouTube and on building my, a platform that allows me to connect to people and that allows me to give my love, my support, my guidance, my experiences. So this video I thought would be really, really good, especially being a new year to briefly touch on my manifestations and the power of manifesting and what it's done for me. Firstly, I think we have to start with a little bit of a cheers to everyone who has supported me this year and to everyone's journey for the new year because I have so many hopes and um, I really am hoping that everyone has a beautiful, fulfilling year and not just me. So cheers to this year, to all the challenges the experiences and for 2020 which i feel would be an even more powerful powerful year so cheers so in terms of the power of manifestation for me was writing down what i really really wanted and i think it's so underestimated because sometimes people kind of throw it out there being like this is what i want but i'm either going to wait for it to happen or it's just going to hopefully just come to me but I, there is a difference in really projecting that and really asking for it. Like about two years ago, I wrote down moving out 2019 and I created this vision board and I put down different things that I really wanted. And you know what, to be honest, some things are still brewing, but they are starting or they're becoming. So when I went traveling, it that only like aided me in my manifestation and my vision because then I was pairing that with a lot of self growth, with a lot of training in my mind to almost work towards it or to almost have a different perspective of how I could achieve that manifestation. So when it came to December, when I came back from my travels, I literally was actively looking for a means to move out. And then what I mean is, I was thinking of moving up to Byron Bay or to the Gold Coast. And when I found that Bond University was doing um, an honors degree, or they do like an honors degree in psychology, it really suited me so well. So I applied for that and when I got in, I just knew that that was something that I had to continue for. So it was starting to become real. I manifested um, I wrote down start my YouTube in June and even though you might think oh but like you kind of set a plan to do it so obviously it's going to happen but at the same time I had a lot of fears and a lot of challenges to kind of push past and to really really kind of just make the f like fuck it I gotta do it but the thing is is that with manifesting you're holding this faith in the universe and you're holding also faith in yourself to 
achieve that. And I think that what you need to pair with manifesting is also having unconditional belief in yourself. And it's taken me a long time to trust myself and to really, to really believe that I can do it. And I think it's, it's definitely come with challenges but with pushing myself, with having faith in myself, with accepting more of myself, I've been able to achieve more than I can ever fathom. And like when I started to write, I manifested a book. I was really stuck on this idea for a novel. So when I was working towards it, I then had another trigger because I started writing more poetically and I started writing poetry. And when I created Let Us Be Dreamers, it only instigated this this more of a more of a vision of what I wanted for my work or where I wanted my poetry to end up or how I wanted to share that. So I started with Instagram, which was like a platform that was a lot easier to, especially if I was very fluid and if I was just flowing with this creativity and I needed to quickly get it out. Because one thing that I feel as a creator is that you have this unwavering desire and almost impulsive like it's like a drug like you have to take it you have to give it whatever it is and so I find sometimes I hit this wave of creativity where I see photos I see visuals and I just have to manifest it I have to vision it sometimes not even kidding I write the same thing in my manifestations about 20 times I write god I don't even know I just write over and over again something that I'm really aspiring for. And a lot of the time, what I find is that it's not even that materialistic. It's literally got to do with traveling, with maybe career goals, with even just self goals for me, like what I want to do as a person. Like sometimes I literally write, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to do more for my health. I want to do more for my happiness. And Slowly writing that and aiding towards achieving that has actually made it more of a reality because I'm also exerting so much of my energy into the universe and giving back hopefully as as much as I can positively so that that's reciprocated and then I'm receiving that back. So it, it, you can call it in another word karma. Um, what I've also found is like I've grown so much spiritually and through my spiritual journey Everything has become heightened. My energy, like that's more here, has just elevated so much. And a lot of people have seen that too, which is so beautiful to me. It's like by writing my post, by sharing my ideas in terms of how I want people to feel, connect, some questions that I'm throwing out there for them to consider, um, whether it's about self-love, about growing, about positivity, uh, about just chasing your fucking dreams. I've been able to see so much re like response um, from people that are like, thank you, or I feel that, or you do more for me than you know. And it's, it's those moments where I'm like, I'm seeing so much of my manifestations working. Um, but yeah, so if there's anything that I can say is believe in yourself, believe, and believe in your dreams so much to the point that you know they're going to happen because I believe that if you have faith in your future, in your future self, in whatever you're really aspiring for, it will happen because you believe in that so much. And it's not like as if you have so much faith that it's just going to happen. It's, it's more so that you believe that it will be an outcome down the path somewhere you're not putting any expectations you're not pressuring yourself against time against um maybe other challenges that you're facing but you're literally saying to yourself no i'm going to do it and it's going to happen and also surrounding yourself with people that only will help you rise and that will not bring you down so if you surround yourself with people that will help you realize more of your purpose or that will um give you a sense of reason to continue then you know that you're what you're you've got good people in your life so it's, i think just believing yourself surrounding yourself with good people and also just just have fun because i think you know sometimes life is about being playful it's about being a kid 
no matter how old you are, it's about chasing after your experiences and living life as swiftly as you can. So manifest your dreams and become who you want to be. It's not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Everyone has something to give and something to receive. We are all deserving of some form of love, of some form of kindness. And I don't know, I've just changed my life so much by believing in so much more. And I just cannot wait for the new year. <laughs> and I cannot wait to bloom and bloom with you and share more of my life and more of my journey because I just want to connect with more of you and help more of you and, and yeah. So I gotta go to dinner. I'm going to dinner with my family. I've completely lost track of time and have been obviously so submerged in you guys and what I really want to share. If you have any questions about manifesting or believing in yourself, please just reach out because I'd love to chat. I'd love to talk more. Um, if anyone wants to connect or collab one day, like that would be cool too. Um, but yeah, all my love and for everyone in the new year, however you wish to celebrate it, stay safe. Know that you are loved and just be free. Love you. <laughs>